use the smart button in your living room with a lamp. How cool is that? Just set the mood just by dimming it down or getting it bright again. So I've got my lamp plugged into a Philips Hue smart plug just over here and the button can be used to control that smart plug. So now if I press the button, there you go, lamp turns on, press it again, turns off. How cool is that? So you're not limited to just using it on lights, it can work with smart plugs as well. Hi guys, today we're unboxing and setting up a Philips Hue smart button. So details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So this is a Zigbee based device, it can work standalone and you can pair it up to a bulb or you can get it working in conjunction with the Philips Hue bridge to control more tech with it. I'll include a card in the corner there if you want to check out how to set up one of these bridges. Now the idea behind the button is it's a smart button and you can get it controlling different things in your smart home. So obviously you're going to need devices connecting to your Philips Hue bridge. So for instance if you had a smart plug or some lights for instance it can connect to these and perform actions on them. So let's open up the packaging and see what you get inside. I've laid out everything you get in the packaging, so let me briefly go through the items. So you get a document regarding compliance for the device and you've got an instruction manual. Both documents are multi-language. Then you get a plastic mounting plate, all matte white finish on there. You've got a recess where the button sits on there, Philips written on here. And then coming around here is a slight recess here where you can flip off the back plate here. The reason being you can actually screw mount this or you can stick it on a wall with these two sticky pads here. Now coming around the front here, in terms of build quality, feels of strong plastic and it's just used as a mounting plate. So you could have it attached on your wall as a light switch. Another way of mounting it is on this round circle and this has got a sticky pad on the back so you can just put it for instance under a table and just have it as a switch to turn things on and off and just showing the switch itself just clips on so it's magnetic underneath and it will just hook on to anything metal and the same with this if I clip it into position hold it upside down it doesn't fall off now getting a piece of metal here just to show, there you go. So anything metal, it will just latch onto. Now in terms of build of this, all rubber feel to it. You can see the Hue logo on there. And in terms of the back, plastic back on there. And you can open that up to reveal the battery. So just to show, if I put my screwdriver in. There you go. There's the battery inside. And they say it lasts about two to three years. Coming in close on the back here, you can see there's a setup pin over here. So you just put a pin in there and that will get it into setup mode. General build of this is good, nice strong rubber. So if you drop it, you know you're not going to easily damage it. In terms of usage, it can work standalone without the bridge and you can pair it to work with a bulb or you can pair it up with the bridge to work with more devices. Now, I'm going to show both methods, but initially let's show it working just with a standalone bulb. So what you need to do with this is hold on to the button here for around three seconds until you see a flash on here. Now the LED is blinking on here, it's ready to pair. So if I turn my light on, and I hold the button close by and hold on to the button for three seconds. There you go, it's paired up as easy as that. So now, if I press the button once, turns off, press it again, turns on. If I turn it on and hold on to it for just under three seconds, it moves on to the next scene. And then if I just hold on to it continuously, it will dim and brighten up. So you can see there, that's the maximum. If I carry on, it just dims down again. So three selection options available on this. So you've seen for yourself, very easy to get going standalone. So let's make a start at setting this up with the Philips Hue bridge. So I'm at my Android phone here. The app's already installed, so going in there, this is what you're initially presented with. So if I go to settings, accessory setup, add accessory, and we select Hue smart button. Now we've got instructions to get the light blinking on here. So if I hold on to this 
for three seconds. What you'll notice, it doesn't work. Reason being, I've already paired it up with the light previously. So if I turn it over and we just hold on to the reset pin here. And now you can see it's in a blinking state. So I'll click the button here. It's now searching for the button. And there you go, it's found it. Continue setup. You need to select the room it's gonna be in. So I'll just pick studio. Now it's saying your smart button has been set up for the studio with standard configuration. You can also customize the button settings. So you can see here it's saying press time-based light and press and hold for dimming. So I'll click customize to see what's available. So this is interesting what it's got. So you've actually got options where if it's a certain time of day and you press the button, you've got these sort of scene options on there and they'll kick in. So that's quite a clever bit of functionality there. So you know if you press it in the morning, you know you're gonna get the bright one here and then coming down, you're gonna get the night light there. And then when you press and hold, if I click on there, you've got the different options there. So you can dim it, all lights off, and do nothing if you wanted to. So that's fine. I'll just click confirm to that. And you see the button here now. Going in there, you can make whatever adjustments you need to. Now the way the button works, it works in conjunction with the room it's in. If I've put it into my studio, for example, and my studio is just over here, and if I edit what's in the room, you can see I've got a bulb there, LED strip light, a spotlight, so the fact it's in there, it will control all these items. So now you can see the LED strip and the bulb in here. If I press it once, there you go, it turns off. And if I hold on to it for just under three seconds, there you go. So the LED strip has a number of scenes and it can easily flip between them. Now if I long press it, you can see it getting dimmer and dimmer. And if I hold on to it again, there you go, brightens up again. So how cool is that? Single button, just takes a battery in there and you can control all the lights in a room from that. It's a very impressive bit of functionality for such a simple device there. So there you go, you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Philips Hue Smart Button. You've seen for yourself, really simple to set up and configure. I like the flexibility where you can set it up standalone with a bulb or an LED strip for instance, or use the Philips Hue Bridge to get it combining with more tech like I've shown. So you can control all the lights in a room if you wanted to. So in terms of functionality, you've got three options on the button, so a single click. And then if you hold on to just under three seconds, you get the scene option, so you can flip between different scenes. And then finally, if you hold on to it, you can dim your lights on there. So really cool. In terms of price, it isn't the cheapest of options. In the UK, I bought this for £18. But in terms of convenience, I think it's pretty good. You don't have to call an electrician in or anything like that. You can control your lights from another area. So I like the fact it's magnetic as well, so you can just stick it onto a surface and you can just control your lights from there. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. And hang around for the end cards, I'll have some more smart tech. Drop me a like as it really helps out the channel. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.